the state of Hawaii today is trying to pave the way for private hands to buy public land, to plant high-rise condos in your park, in stylized condo with a four-star ensemble of restaurants, forevermore scarring the last vestige of non-commercial coastline in Honolulu that goes by Kaka'ako. I thought public land was for the public man, woman, and child. In my eyes, the bottom line is, public land, in the name of our brother, is not for sale. Excuse my anger, but do we need to dot it in braille in the plaque of Kaka'ako that used to be a seated reef? and work off the top row of somebody's thieving teeth down on the line, chip, 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 until these howlies and greedy Hawaiians stop prowling, deceiving, and buying power, and listen to the sound of our lips crying out, whoa! Oh, yeah. Or hear the wisdom of a favorite bumper sticker's quiet sound of, no Hawaiians, no aloha. Or see what vision paint will jump ahead memorably and spy a town with, no land, no Hawaiians. Then feel the schism when stop figuring life out with, no Hawaiians, then what? Makes me think of Treblinka with Aloha so long. In Puerto Rico, people call themselves Boricuas, and thus honor the name of their island's indigenous culture that received the European. But not even one native Boricua son had ever visited older ones in a museum because 100% died. This doesn't represent a scare tactic I'm trying. I'm describing a fact of what can happen in the modern era because Hawaii is not immune. What name would rise to be exhumed for the lost tribe of Hawaiians? How about Kane on the middle room, or the high flying rainbow Wahine of UH? But alas, a rainbow keeps gleaming today because the live is Hawaii. And I ask you now to pray and find the might in your psyche. Because regardless of your descendancy, you and I are stewards of a legacy that's rooted in the faith of this land. If you are indigenous or a visitor or privileged to live in this island, Jane, your silence is the same as violence. This island is in pain and the land is crying and howling in the hand of Tonga now, today, or never. And the place we've got to take a stand is Kaka'ako. We have to stop them. because it's a lost word. In this space, we can still see it and hear it. Now, would this state have us patiently wait while they take the next step and pave over in spirit to protect the land for the seventh generation? First, we must respect the land during our blessed days on earth and not bow nor stand for its praise and denigration served by the hands of these slave of a corporation. We may all be United States, but we also live in the Hawaiian nation. Yeah. It's a crying shame that to so many this fact would only have relevance in the context of art. This is why hope lies in the art of the folks. This is why people lined up in the park are so needy now. Yeah. Let's paint for a second, shall we? Can you see the plain connection galvanized between an adolescent in pain who elects ice and violence and the oppressive drive to slice this island up for a few to enjoy more bread? And then spirit with spread that's thicker than jelly into the wall who looks like one giant by Kenneth? Instead of yelling Kapu to Batu, you can make a much bigger difference by compelling you to save our Kaka Ako. Hey, Howdy, hey, Hawaiian, stop framing Honolulu like a gallery on first Friday and painting an artful redux of the past or the sparkle of a deluxe future that's glad, charged with romance and boundless charm. Go, man, sound the alarm and paint a portrait of a last Saturday and play in the park. Because you can't go back and suture the soul and heart once you've ripped them out and sold them on eBay. Kona, the Kihei, the Kaka Ako, the Turtle Bay, it's the same debacle. Trouble is at hand because it's insane when one can pay to mop up public land for oneself. How much is enough wealth? When painting becomes the Sabbath, this is what happens. Public land and my brother is not for sale. We must prevail. We will not fail. We will not leave until our state government keeps Kaka a public place and honors this space like a covenant, sacred, like the name of brother is. Yeah. I've seen the gift he gave Hawaii. Did you know he loved to ride a pipe board at Love Point Panic? And I believe if his body were alive, Brother Is would be right here, right now, and sing a song and have the whole damn planet standing and singing, demanding and bringing Kaka'ako to the popular forefront of consciousness, stopping any storefront from launching on top of this public land. And in his honor, I ask that this administration of Linda Lingo endeavor to stop and walk and thought about how all the land bought the soul has rocked the soul of Hawaiians and Hawaii. Who am I? I am a steward just like you are. And I find peace when the country's asleep in a magic stretch of reef called King Wallows. And I follow the power of his mighty hand and loving smile when I say, Public land in the name of our brother is. Public land in the name of our brother.